Today is uh, February the 13th, 2024. Uh, it's Tuesday. It's about uh, 9.27 a.m. here in Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County. Uh, we on the uh, street of uh, Marshall Street here. Marshall Street is the dividing line of uh, north and uh, north and south. That vehicle that you see there with the lights on, that is uh, Detective Blakely, John Blakely, who in, uh, I believe, uh, 2000, uh, the year 2000 in Sykes, in Missouri, falsified documents and had uh, witnesses, paid witnesses to convict a black man by the name of uh, David Robinson, who got natural life in jail for killing a white woman in Charleston, I mean, in Sykes, in Missouri. But the Supreme Court, the appellate court judge overturned that case and freed David Robinson after 18 years because he said John Blakely is not to be trusted. John Blakely later resigned from the Sykes and Missouri Police Department. And now he's over here with the Mississippi County, Missouri, Charles, Missouri Sheriff Department up under Brent Farrell. He's stopping somebody right now in uh, whoever it is. Uh, you let your lawyer look at this here. Let's see what this cross street is. I believe it's Franklin. I'm gonna go over here to see right quick. But John Blakely, if the if the uh, appellate court said he's not to be trusted, why should a sheriff put him or a center street here? Yeah? Center street here in uh, Charleston, Missouri. Uh, somebody from Triple R, Raymond Research and Recovery, uh, gave me a call and said that uh, the, uh, the detective from the Sheriff's Department, John Blakely, is stopping somebody here. Uh, he's a sheriff now. And uh, normally the Charleston, Missouri Police Department is the one that stops people. But John Blakely, the... Uh, the appellate court, the Supreme Court here in the state of Missouri has already said this man is not to be trusted. So I'm doing my duty as an activist and a citizen of uh, Charleston, Missouri uh, to record this here stop. If you know that I'm, I'm a distance away from it, but we wants to make sure whoever he's stopping they gonna be all right. To make a special note, uh, Brenton Farrell, the sheriff of the uh, Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County Sheriff Department, the head sheriff, he has a history of hiring uh, individuals that commit crimes against other people. Barry Morgan, Captain Barry Morgan, we know what he did. We, we witnessed where he uh, was using excessive force on a guy in East Prairie with the taser. He was with his boss, uh, Brenton Farrow. Then we witnessed where he uh, actually beat up a prisoner. Then we see the Illinois State Police in uh, Illinois, Southern Illinois, have Barry Morgan arrested uh, for uh, a shooting out the car at somebody. But we want to make sure everything is all right over here, y'all. Check on your people. Because if the, if the Supreme a, a, a Judge, that's a Supreme Court judge, said that this man is not to be trusted, then why should we trust him? How you doing?
make sure you check on your people now. Remember, this man, a man spent 18 years in prison for a murder that the Supreme Court, appellate court said that there's no way that he could have committed this crime. hold it all for a minute until he come out so y'all can get a good look at him. A Heartland murder case about to be argued before the Missouri Supreme Court later this spring. In the late summer of 2000, Sykeson police arrested convicted drug dealer David Robinson in the shooting death of Sheila Box. Robinson, found guilty the following year, has always maintained his innocence. Well, now this special judge's report to the Missouri Supreme Court agrees with him. And this isn't some kind of procedural error. The judge who wrote this says David Robinson is innocent. The two key witnesses at his trial lied. And the detective behind his arrest in this report simply cannot be believed. I read this every day. I, I can tell you everything in there page with page. For David Robinson, this 91-page report to the Missouri Supreme Court puts a megaphone to the words he's repeated over and over again. I ain't no murderer. I ain't killed nobody. I didn't kill Sheila Bach or nobody else, nor have I ever killed anyone. The state's high court called on Jefferson County Judge Darrell Missy to review everything in Robinson's case and gather new testimony. His report starts and finishes with the same assertion, that Robinson is innocent. The pages in between detail an investigation that relied on questionable witnesses and no physical evidence, led by Detective John Blakely, described in here as not competent and not credible. After reading that, I, I felt like, um, wow, we're, we're, it's the same thing I've been saying for 17 and a half years and it uh, fell on deaf ears. On the night of August 5th, 2000, Sheila Box was shot as she sat in her SUV near this intersection on Sykeston's west side. Police arrested Robinson and a second man that night. They were questioned, their clothes tested for blood or gunpowder residue, and then released. But Robinson tells me he believes the focus stayed on him. It was more so that they wanted me more than they wanted anybody. And why? Why do you think they wanted you? Uh, past history dealing with the police. Just get you off the street. Just get me off the street. According to Judge Missy's report, the only witnesses who implicated David Robinson at his murder trial were Albert Baker and Jason Richeson. Richeson testified he shared a cell with Robinson and overheard him bragging about the murder. But three years later, Richeson told investigators that wasn't true, and evidence shows he and Robinson were never cellmates. Judge Missy called his trial testimony profoundly unbelievable. Albert Baker, a paid informant for Sykeston Police, testified he saw Robinson shoot Box. But in 2017, Baker said he lied, saying, quote, the detective said they would change my life. Baker got out of jail within hours of signing his statement against Robinson and received $2,500 in cash in the weeks after. Yeah, I, yeah, I forgive him. I even forgive Blakely because as long as I held on to hate, I couldn't move forward. Judge Missy has harsh words for Detective John Blakely, who took those statements from both Baker and Richeson. Missy says Blakely's testimony doesn't ring true, and the timing of Albert Baker's release from jail back in 2000 was no accident. Blakely denied that he didn't have no, nothing to do with Blake, uh, Albert Baker getting out of jail. That was a lie. The judge called it a lie. The judge also called Blakely, quote, the least credible witness to have testified before this court. What is credible, Judge Missy writes, are the numerous confessions given by this man, Romance Mosby. Several people testified that Mosby said he shot Sheila Box that night following a drug deal gone bad. Mosby hanged himself in prison in 2009. I hate to see what happened. And do I believe the fact that uh, he told other people that? There go, uh, Detective Blakely there. You got to back up with the, him. uh, Charles, Missouri police officer. Normally, the Charles, Missouri police department, uh, stop cars, not the, uh, the sheriffs or the, uh, or any of their deputies.
out and get a good look. Let's go around here, y'all. Police on the corner, they trying to, I guess, to. See if I can get a better shot at it. Anything that John Blakely do, y'all, is questionable. y'all a close enough look here across the street here let them see that uh John Blakely and two of the Charleston, Missouri police officers. Make sure he don't put nothing in this man. He set David Robinson up, paid uh, some informants to set David Robinson uh, killed somebody. Y'all look up the case. The David Robinson case out of uh, Sykes in Missouri. Earlier, I seen the chief go by. The chief probably sent a couple of officers over to see what I'm doing. I think this is might be one of their vehicles there too. The white suburban, the Charles Missouri Police Department. They got some highly uh, expensive vehicles. wonder why a sheriff deputy or detective uh, by itself stopping a vehicle. But when it come to John Blakely, uh, the courts and legitimate people know he's not to be trusted. You see, uh, the Mississippi County Sheriff uh, Brenton Farrell here in Missouri, uh, he don't have any respect for the uh, Supreme Court, the appellate court, because if he did, the appellate court told him that this man is not to be trusted. The Illinois State Police arrested his captain for two crimes, but yet he still hired him. And I can't forget, so I don't want y'all to discriminate. Y'all remember the guy Baker, I forgot his first name, uh, was one of the jailers uh, that had uh, took a white prisoner out of her uh, cell and took, him, took her into the conference room where the uh, lawyers be at nighttime, shut the lights off, and had her to do oral sex on him. 
He was fired. The head jailer and his wife ain't been convicted or nothing. They was arrested, but they was fired. But Barry Morgan, he wasn't only arrested, but he pled guilty. He wasn't fired, he's still a captain. John Blakely took 18 years out of a person's life. 18 years, y'all. Can you imagine that? Why did it take this long for two of the Charles, Missouri Police Department to come? I guess uh, John Blakely couldn't do this by himself. He couldn't back. He couldn't back up. He couldn't get the sheriff department to back him up. You know why? Because he probably ain't even got enough sheriff deputies out here to patrol, patrol Mississippi County. He digging any y'all. Look at that. Hey, Detective John Blakely. David Robertson wanted to know uh, how you feel about getting them convicted falsely in 2000. You see, he ain't gonna say nothing on that. Oh, we got fuck with somebody. Yeah, you know who that is? You know which one it is? Oh no, I'm talking about the the the, the sheriff. That's John Bakley. He. He uh, resigned from uh, from Sykes in Missouri. He got a guy, uh, natural life, and oh, the, yeah. the, the uh, Pelly Court overturned it, and they said this same man is driving this black vehicle for the sheriff's department. Yeah. The the uh, Pelly Court said he's not to be trusted. Mm. If he's not to be trusted, would yeah. you hire him? Hell no. no. I gotta fuck with somebody though. I don't have anything negative to say about the two officers on the scene. Apparently, uh, somebody called them to come on the scene. Let's go on this other side to make sure John Blakely don't put nothing in his, uh, in the guy's vehicle. John Blakely, I was uh, David Robertson's cousin. I wanted to know how you feel about getting him falsely convicted. Let's get back over here, y'all.
That's John Blakely, y'all. Oh, the detective from Sykes in Missouri that resigned in around 2000 and something, uh, who falsely got the uh, individual tried and arrested, tried and convicted for a murder that he didn't even do. I'll get a good look at him now. That's John Blakely. All you got to do is Google up the case and it'll show you. How you doing, Detective John Blakely? How you doing, Dr. Detective John Blakely? Rob, David Robinson, I know you remember him real well, don't you? If you, if... you see how they frown up, they don't, they don't like, some of them don't like that a black man that's an activist and don't have nothing to hide from the law expose these individuals now i'm wondering if we get shooting in the black neighborhoods again uh can we get the sheriff and the police department to come nice cars ain't it y'all y'all take a real good look at john blakely's uh truck here y'all take a real good look at him that's john blakely look here i guess they won then john blakely i'm gonna get on up out here there they go look 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 they fought they hold up by my car I guess they're going to try to tow my car or something, huh? Y'all take a good look. Look, take a good look. Y'all remember what John Blakely drive and what he looked like. Apparently, whatever he stopped this guy for, he didn't have enough to stop to arrest this guy. Couldn't find what he was looking for. Now I guess he going on about his way. I'm going to leave out right now with peace. The blessing of God be with you. Thank God that this guy didn't get killed. Or I don't think John Blakely put anything in his uh, vehicle. You see, John Blakely didn't even come this way. <laughs> peace out, y'all. Beware of John Blakely. Beware of Captain Barry Morgan. Beware of Bobby Robert Hearns. Beware of, uh, uh, let's see who else did I didn't say. Barry Morgan, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, sheriff himself, Brenton Farrow, Lester Gillespie, the NAACP, and all these other people, y'all, that's out here being corrupt. Not just in the black, but in the white community, too. Peace be still. <laughs>